Guys, we are back here at the City Meet. We're about to get started after a brief delay. We're going to start with the 7-8 Mixed Medley Relay. We're going to have all 17 teams look like they have a team in this event. So we'll have two heats of relays. They're using eight lanes for the individual events, but ten lanes for the relays. So we'll have seven teams in the first heat. Shyamalan in lane three, Crowfield in four, Legend Oaks in five, Ashboro in six, the Country Club of Charleston in seven, and the Somerville Y in eight. Swimmers will swim one length of the strokes. Backstroke goes first, then breaststroke, then butterfly, then freestyle. Top 15 teams will score points for the relays. Top 30 individuals swimmer score. So for this mixed medley relay, the top 15 teams, so all but two teams, are able to score points. After backstroke, it is the Somerville Y taking the lead. Somerville Y holding on to that breaststroke lead. Shamalon over in lane three also coming on strong. Butterfly is getting ready to dive in the water. Again, our 7-8 swimmers will not use the blocks on the relays. They will dive from the side. Somerville Y with commanding lead now. That strong butterfly over there in lane eight. Yep, the Somerville Y entered into this event with a 201-25. They're gonna smoke that out of the water here. and set the time to be going to the last heat. Like we mentioned yesterday, Tara, the winner can come out of any heat. So we just gotta see how all the times stack up when all is said and done. And this will place in the last heat. This will be top 10 for sure. The Somerville Y at one. No, we don't get a time. Was it 128 something? Yeah, huge Unofficial shot. time there. Second place going to Legend Oaks at 136, 118. And third is Ashboro. Might take a little longer after these eight and under relays because we got swimmers on both ends that have to be reunited. And then lining up at that other end of the pool in years past, I guess the only disadvantage to North Charleston Aquatic Center and a nice big inside natatorium is it's a bulkhead down there. So it's about four to five feet wide. So you really can't pack the kids in. You gotta wait for the previous heat's relays to get off the bulkhead. Exactly, it definitely is an issue. And when they have this pool set up for short course meters, the bulkheads are pushed together and there's a little more space. I wish they could just cover that middle part inside the pool and have a big area back there, but unfortunately, no. So the swimmer's walking down right now. In the individual events, they'll just be able to walk one heat over at a time and be ready to go, but a little trickier on the relays. I think the, uh, the long hand-holding rope in CCAA has been around since, what, the 1970s. You see all these seven, eight swimmers, all different teams, lined up probably what 16 to 20 of them holding hands well together. tara I, I have this this very vivid memory of being at the jcc and watching the swimmers holding hands marching down the the uh the pool i'm sure you do too yes okay your top seed in this event is Sneef arm at 117.44 the meet record is a 112.40 held by daniel island that's that might be a little out of range here but Sneef Arm seated first by four and a half seconds, four seconds. So we'll see if anyone can challenge them. In lane one will be North Charleston, two is Parkshore, three is Hobcaw, four is Daniel Island, five is Sneef Arm, six is Northbridge, seven is Newington, eight is Shadow Moss, nine is James Island, and in 10 is Long Point. It was a 128 in that last heat, 128, 18 from the Somerville Y. So we'll see how how much that, how, wh where that place is in this heat. Some confusion, but the swimmers are now stepping into the pool. You have to be quiet for the start so the swimmers can hear.
And they're off. Backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, and freestyle. And there goes Snee Farm right away. Talked about this last night. The backstrokers really can gain an advantage if they know their stroke count. Stroke count is how many strokes you take from under the flags to the wall. Swimmers should know that number and practice that over and over. Snee Farm first coming up on the halfway point of this relay. Up in lane seven is Shadow Moss. Down here in three is Hopcott. Daniel Island in four. Northbridge in six. And it is super tight here. Beyond your clear leader, Snee Farm. And they're at the halfway point now. Butterfly is doing great. Snee Farm still pulling away. I don't know if it may be a race for second on this. Might David. be a race for second. Daniel Island looking really strong. Maybe challenging Snee Farm here. I don't know. That Snee Farm swimmer is ready for first place. He's swimming fast. Snee Farm followed by Daniel Island, then Northbridge, then Newington. It's Snee Farm. We don't have a time official. Daniel Island takes second. And Northbridge is third in one, one seventeen five six is the unofficial on Snee Farm. Again, followed by Daniel Island, one nineteen one six, Northbridge in one twenty one seven seven, and it looks like Shadow Moss ended up getting fourth. This is that. This is the first win for Snee Farm this meet, which is actually a little surprising. But I guess that's so. the way this meet's gone so far. Well, last night Garrett Blakenship had a great showing. Three, three second, second places, place yes. He was in the running for a victory all three times. But this will be the first event of the day. 7-8 mixed medley relay will go to the Snee Farm swim team. And I will hope to get a word with them in just a second as they walk over. So we're going to line up the 9-10 medley relay right now. Oh my gosh, you're Kelly's daughter, Sloan. Come here, cutie. I'm going to interview y'all. Where are your other two? Oh, they probably came from the other end. Okay. Standing here with two of the swimmers from the Snee Farm swim team. Again, the first victory for Snee Farm of the weekend. Other two swimmers will join us shortly as they had to walk around from the deep end. Please tell us your first and last name. Um, my first name is Sloan, si Sloan and my last name is Simon. How about you? I'm Chase Ostrander. Okay, great. And what were you all thinking about behind the blocks to get excited, Sloan? Um, well, I was just thinking to swim fast, just w don't worry about anyone else, and just just try my hardest. How about you, Speedy? I was just um, thinking to swim as fast as I could. Okay, wonderful. And one more thing. What is your favorite thing about Snee Farm Swimming? Well, my favorite thing is about how um, nice and kind everyone is and how, you know, team like celebrated i think that's great how nice and kind everyone is how about you sweetie what's your favorite my thing? favorite part is about making a, lots of friends okay we got the two other swimmers real quick i just want you all to give your first and last name before we head back to a break fisher biggers fisher biggers cameron combs okay, well congratulations steve farm with their first team victory of the 2021 ccaa city meet champs congratulations 